You know, I like this time of year, but if it's going to be this cold, at least put some snow on the ground. What is going on everybody and welcome back to another Tech Unboxed. On Tuesday, we did a unboxing and quick look at the GoPro Hero 8. And today, we're gonna be unboxing another GoPro product, this one being the Max 360. So just like we're doing with the GoPro Hero 8, where we're gonna release a full field test video showing you guys a lot of the bigger features or the key features of this actual camera and what it's capable of, but for today, we're gonna keep things pretty lightweight and focus mainly on the unboxing and a few first impressions or things that I've noticed right off the bat when we unbox this camera. This is the Hero, the GoPro Hero Max 360. It's a 360 degree camera. And as you can see, it's got very similar packaging to the Hero 8 if you watch that video that we released on Tuesday. So without further ado, let's just go ahead and rip right into this thing. Anything that's gonna be different aside from the packaging or aside from the actual features of the camera, the packaging is basically identical. So again, you've got the Max, you've got all of the components in there. It looks like you've got your, your mounts and your battery and your USB, so everything is in here. And then of course on this side, you've got all of the different types of features. You've got your 16.6 megapixel camera, 5.6K at 30 frames, two times slow-mo, et cetera. So all of your features are listed right here as well. So with that being said, again, let's just go ahead and rip into the box. Same process as the Hero 8. You got a little tab here at the bottom. Let's go ahead and rip that open and, and slide out the camera. Same scenario. It's mounted just like the Hero 8. You've got the mount here on top. You can unscrew it right here like that. You've got your screw, your camera itself, same thing, folding legs, and it's got the dual lens, as you can see. Again, you have a mount right here on top, so don't forget that. Just pull the little rubber tab up, squeeze the two sides, and then push forward, and that will pop off because you'll need that mounting bracket as well. And then, of course, you've got everything else right in here. So if we bring that out, again, GoPro Plus, if you have, you can do 1080p streaming, which is really cool. You've got a little card indicating where to buy or where to get the app and how to secure and insert the battery into the camera itself. Again, no Notice this is just saying, hey, you'll want to make sure that the battery is secure, especially if you put this thing underwater. You don't want to ruin it, obviously, because if it's not sealed correctly, it's not going to be waterproof. And of course, dope GoPro stickers. Nothing's complete without stickers. And then of course, you've got your manual in many different languages. Yeah, you got a nice little bag here, which is really nice. And you do have the protected lenses, which go over the front of this thing, just so you don't end up damaging this. Like say you got it on like a dirt bike or something like that. You don't want a bunch of rocks flying hitting and then damaging the lenses. So that's really cool that they added those. They added one for each side. So no matter which way you have this thing oriented, you've got uh, the cover, the protective lenses covering the actual uh, lenses themselves. So, and then right here on the side pockets or inside pockets, that's where those protective lenses go. As you can see, there's one right there and then this one will go right in there as well. So nice little bag moving forward. We'll just kind of dump this out, kind of various things. You've got your battery, you've got your curve mount, like I was saying, for the helmet. You've got your charge cable here, and then it looks like you have two rubber lens caps to also protect the lens when, you're, when it's not in use and it's stored in the bag. So it's nice of GoPro to include stuff like that. That is everything that comes in this package. And uh, let's go ahead and test this thing out, look at some of the features that I really like, just as I kind of like a first glance, and then we'll do some test footage and see what you guys, and show you guys kind of what the footage looks like. The first thing I noticed upon pulling the GoPro out of the box was its build quality. It is certainly on par with the GoPro Hero 8. And although it doesn't have the same texturized rubber coating as the Hero 8, you still get that nice rubber coating allowing you to feel like you're not gonna drop it anytime. Whether you have some gloves on or not, it doesn't feel like it's going to slip out of your hands. Being that it is a 360 degree camera, I expected or at least somewhere read that there was going to be a screen on either side of the camera However, that is not the case It does have an option to toggle between the two lenses allowing you to get a view of the front or back lens or vice versa And although the screen is not as large as the screen on the hero 8 It is still big enough to get the job done the Max 360 offers and has the same folding brackets that you see on the Hero 8, allowing you to unfold the brackets when you need to mount the camera and then folding them away when you no longer need them. This is great because you no longer need to carry an extra frame just to be able to mount the camera. Since the Max 360 uses the same GoPro app as the other Hero cameras, setup is a super, super simple process. All you need to do is download the GoPro app from the App Store or Play Store, open up the app, turn on the camera and follow the on-screen prompts to get connected. Learning how to edit in the app definitely came with a small learning curve, but overall, after some experience and time spent in it, 
it was pretty easy to grasp and use. So I'm really excited to continue using this 360 degree camera and seeing what type of epic shots we can capture. That is going to be it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to keep a lookout for when we upload that full field test. If you liked the video, be sure to give it a thumbs up and hit that subscribe if you haven't already. And of course, be sure to enable the bell icon so you guys don't miss out on any type of future uploads. And in the meantime, enjoy these shots from the Max 360. We'll see you next time. I came from the mud There's dirt on my hands Strong like a tree There's roots where I stand Oh, I've been running from the law Hope they won't shoot me down soon Catch me howling at the moon